Hello everyone, this is Sayyid Sagheer Ahmad. In this video, we will learn funny mnemonics or tricks to remember the classification of anti-Parkinsonian drugs. These tricks are helpful to remember complete classification without confusion. Try to practice these mnemonics while memorizing the classification. So, let's get started. Anti-Parkinsonian drugs. It is categorized into drugs affecting brain dopaminergic system and drugs affecting brain cholinergic system. Usually, Parkinson disease is due to the deficiency of dopamine in the brain, which leads to rigidity, tremor, and akinesia. Rigidity, tremor, and akinesia. Rigidity is nothing but stiffness of the body. Tremors are nothing but involuntary shaking of the body or the limbs. And akinesia means lack of movement or inability to move. Usually in Parkinson's disease, there is a deficiency of dopamine that make person difficult to move so with this information remember this trick or tricky sentence dopamine deficiency promote complete movement difficulty whenever you write anti-parkinsonian drugs classification this sentence should come in your mind dopamine deficiency promote complete movement difficulty here, D for dopamine precursor, example is levodopa. D for dopaminergic agonist, example is bromocryptin and ropinirole. P for peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor, example is carbidopa and Benzirazide, peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor, decarboxylase, carbidopa. Then C for COMT inhibitor, example, entacapone and tolcapone. M stand for MAOB inhibitor, example, seligilin. And D for Dopamine facilitator example is amantadine. Second category drugs affecting brain cholinergic system. In this central anticholinergics example benzhexol and procyclidine. Then antihistaminics example orphanadrine and promethazine. So, with the trick, you should able to remember the complete classification without any confusion. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thank you.